My name is Margit Mesma and I work here at the University of Leeds in the School of Mathematics. In this video I would like to um, talk about solving inequalities. I'll present a few examples, talk about a few principles, in particular about the modulus involving the modulus sign also. So what does it mean to uh, solve an inequality? Let's first look at a very simple, easy example. Um, which you probably are familiar with, something like 6 minus 2x is less than 4. Actually, I want a less, less than negative 4. So solving such an inequality, what do we do? We apply operations to both sides of the in inequality um, with the aim of isolating x. So in this case, you would, for example, add 4 on both sides. You get 10 minus 2x less than 0, then you would add 2x on both sides and you get 10 less than 2x and then you would divide by 2 and get to 5 less than x. And so we see that all x satisfying this equality, inequality are exactly those x which are greater than 5. Now I've written down these four lines without connecting them. So in mathematics it's very important to make sure that we actually read these as statements and connect the lines together. So what we want to say is that if this is true about x, then this is true about x, then this is true, then this is true, and vice versa. We want to go, go upwards as well, as well. So what we want to actually do is connect these two lines um, by the statement that this is true if and only if the next line is true and so on. So it's important that we connect those with if and only ifs um, often indicated with a double arrow sign and abbreviated by an I double F. So in here I'll just, I'll do this for every single line. So we need to make sure that we can both go in both directions. Now, if you take this equation, I could have done, th sorry, this inequality, I could have done something slightly different. I could have, for example, um, taken, subtracted the six as a first step. So I could, ta could have taken 6 minus 2x less than negative 4 and now subtract subtracted 6 on both sides. So this would give us an, a minus 2x um, less than negative 10. And again, as an if and only if. Now I could divide both sides by negative 2 and get um, x and we know that if we divide by negative 2, we need to change around the inequality symbol. And you see you get the same solution here as we get here, um, x greater than, greater than 5. 